Boy Drawings, this series, is just another continuum of all the work that I've been doing since about 2005 when I first started the, the B-Boy studies. Uh, actually, I still call them studies. I'm just trying to sort out, uh, I, don't, I don't know if there's any finality to it, but I think I'm exploring the ways of expressing what uh, the B-Boy breakdance is. The connection with the b-boy works and the, the, the sculptures, even the early graffiti sculptures, was that it was, it, it was in spirit of movement, dance, rhythm, uh, how you, you, know, you, you could look at a b-boy and he's just riding a bee and then all of a sudden he's assaulting space and he's doing all these mechanics and hitting all these angles. Uh, which, you know, it's that kind of the physical graffiti we used to call it. And, and there were b-boys who were graffiti writers who would always have this conversation with me. And people like Fable, Crazy Legs, Ken Swift, uh, um, and others, they, they were very much, Mr. Wiggles especially, they, they were all kind of invested in that relationship between the art, uh, the art forms and disciplines. And for me, it was natural when I got into sculpture that I would kind of work with those same ideas, those same principles of, of the b-boy, even as, as so much as how you, how you come to work in sculpture, how you approach it and how you make it, that it was a kind of old school b-boy attitude. Cool, so that, that definitely leads me to the next question, which is, well, we know that this is inspired by movement and dance and a certain kind of movement and dance. So how would you say hip hop has played um, kind of, it does play an integral role in the work and you could see it, but how would you say um, hip hop has influenced this work? Hip hop influences this work in, in, in the way that the hip hop disciplines are high abstract art. And, and so in that, in that kind of way, um, whether it's, you know, this, the DJ mixing and scratching uh, you know beats that are on rhythm and breaking up that rhythm uh, and or the b-boy you know going into different styles of dance or the writer taking the alphabet and abstracting that uh, and the lyricist who would take metaphors abstract metaphors and string them together in, in some kind of pad, rhythm pattern and so the b-boy line, the, the lines themselves are, are you know, uh, born from that, but also really uh, the kind of echo from early modernism. And you can see that I, I had you know, fell in love with modernism uh, you know, very early on with these works, and you know that the, of course, the cubists and the futurists and those guys especially because they were thinking in modern terms and so uh, in, the, in the same respect I would res receive that information like that these dudes are masters I look at the b-boys and they're, they're my modern masters mm -hmm. and so that's the connection and it's kind of in that tradition where uh, uh, the artists of the time and the dancers and the poets and the musicians of their time they, they, they all meet in, in both spirit practice and uh, template. Wow, it's so interesting to me how like you've taken something that has, um, you know, been so much part of your lifestyle and culture, and really transformed it into your kind of modernist approach. And it is a true modernist approach because you're looking forward. But can you tell me what the next step? Because you say that these are studies. So if these are studies, what is kind of the next? What's what's next with these? Where do these go? Um, well, I think some of them, some of, like, these would lend themselves more to, to painting and, and abstract painting, uh, and these would lend themselves great to sculpture. Mm -hmm. And I, I've been able to do the sculpture part of it. I, I've, I've not done the actual painting this yet. I've actually drawn, and I've tried, and, and collage as well, kind of you know, as, as, you know, inspired by Picasso and, and, and Brock, uh, that stuff. Uh, and, and up until recently, which was the, the big step forward, is to work with uh, 
directly with somebody like Ken Swift, who came to the studio and we we worked on conversations and and, and I worked on a drawing and uh, and I'm still reworking that drawing so that that live interaction with an actual b-boy master is is what's next in in this series and it'll be exciting because he's obviously the most revered b-boy of the culture of all time I think I think there's something a, a very um, unique place he holds as a b-boy in, in, in character and dance and art form and, and for me that's that's my man so we you know it gets live it, it's just something that's uh, incredible for me because I've been so close to him for so many years and now we're talking on a whole different level about our influences so that's that's what's next with the, the b-boy series